Well, hello there and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about something very close to my heart, which is recertification 2021. Now, if you're not an accountant and bookkeeper, this video might not be exactly what you need because this recertification is for a pro advisor status aimed at both accountants and bookkeepers. But before you go, just think of one thing and do me a favor, understand the following. As a business owner, if you have an accountant or bookkeeper, please, please, please ensure that they a have a pro advisor status. So they are a pro advisor for QuickBooks Online and B do encourage them to get recertified. The whole point of the program is that it means that only people who are pro advisors going forward and who have recertified will be able to be pro advisors. That means that if a business reaches out to a pro advisor for QuickBooks, then they will only be able to find people who have kept themselves up to date with QuickBooks and are at the forefront of what QuickBooks can do. And that is an absolute good thing. Highly, highly, highly recommend. This is an absolute brilliant thing. And I do hope that you do take this on board. And if you're looking for a business advisor, if you're looking for a bookkeeping accountant or anything else, and your company uses QuickBooks, I do highly recommend that you only choose a pro advisor going forward. There are plenty of accountants and bookkeepers out there, plenty who know QuickBooks inside and out, and the pro advisors are the ones that absolutely understand it. And what you'll get from that is pro advisors who will be able to push your business forward because that's what it's all about. For you accountants and bookkeepers out there, stay tuned because I'm going to give you some tips, tricks, and let you know exactly what's going on with the recertification course and make sure that you pass it as well. Roll the intro. Hello there, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer, an advanced pro advisor, very important for this video, the QuickBooks chap on the internet and also head of accounts over at Boffix. Now, recertification 2021. First thing to note is you don't have very long. The window in which to get certified is very short, but it is very important. As I said in that intro there, for the companies, for the businesses that you're advising, you being a pro advisor is a huge benefit to them. And you being recertified means that you're keeping up to date with that qualification. Now think about it. The Pro Advisors platform has been around for a long time. Prior to recertification, that means that there are people out there who have become Pro Advisors a long, long time ago, never kept up to the product, but are still maintaining their Pro Advisor status. With recertification, the idea is that only the people who actually keep up to date with it will maintain their status. Meaning that if you're listening to this, you are definitely someone who's wanting to at least become a Pro Advisor or are already a pro advisor, therefore you're in the right place. And let's be honest, as long as we can make sure that our pro advisor status is relevant, then that means that it's gonna be the most help we can for our businesses and small businesses out there. So, pro advisor status, very, very important. Join me in this video while we go and discuss exactly what it means to be pro advisor status, exactly how to understand what your pro advisor status, and probably really the most important bit that you all are waiting for, is how to complete the recertification exam and some tips and tricks to make sure that you pass the first time around. So for you to know which pro advisor status you are at the moment, you need to head to your pro advisors area within QuickBooks Accountant. And this screen in front of me is the exact screen. So make sure you're in QuickBooks Accountant. You know that because you've got this gray bar around here. And then you need to make sure you go to the pro advisor section, training, and this is the area where you're going to see it. Now, from here, you'll see that when you scroll down, these are the completed courses. So I've got myself my QuickBooks Online course certification. And if I was to download that certificate, you'll be able to understand when I obtained it. Again, I've got my advanced certification, which is a more advanced version of the pro advisor status. Okay, now we should know what's at risk. We should know that basically our pro advisor status is at risk if we don't recertify. What do we have to do to actually recertify? What's going to be the qualification? What's going to actually happen to us and everything else? Let's have a look. 
Well, this screen tells me all about it. On here, it gives me the opportunity to do an online on QuickBooks Online Advanced Recertification just here. And when the date has appeared, I will be able to take the exam directly from here. Now, to help you prepare for the exam, QuickBooks have provided these really handy webinars. Why do I know they're so handy? Because I've actually been running the first handful of these webinars. Now, the idea of the webinars is to give you an insight into what's going on. Okay, so what information do we know about the exam? Well, first of all, depending if you're looking to do core recertification or advanced recertification, so, so you're either already a core pro advisor or an advanced pro advisor, does depend on how your exam is going to feel. If you're looking to do the core recertification, then you have 20 questions to complete. And if you're looking to do the advanced certification, you have 30 questions to complete. There's a little twist there for your advanced certification. The extra 10 questions are 10 advanced questions. So you're doing the same exam as the core certified. The pass mark to complete this, just like it was for the original exams, is 80%. So you need to get 80% of either the 20 questions or the 30 questions. Also, if you're doing core, then you have those core elements to complete. If you do an advanced, you have core plus advanced elements to complete. If for whatever reason you don't complete the full 80% in your advance, but you're still got your core, then you will still recertify, but this time as a core. For the recertification, you get free attempts. Now, after the free attempts, it will lock you out for any further attempts, but it's only going to be for a set number of days. After those set days are finished, then you'll have a chance to recertify again. But crucially, there's only a set window until the recertification has to be completed. And that set window runs from the 3rd of May to the 30th of June. The examination is completely multiple choice, just like when you took your core and your advanced certification in very similar manner to how those questions were presented. You could get true and false, you could get A, B, and C, and D, but ultimately you will never have to actually write the answer out. You're just going to have to select the correct answer on screen. And when you complete the certification, then you are recertified for 2021. Okay, so this is starting to get really complicated and I understand it, but it's really important to understand that you must, must, must look to be certified by the end of that 30th of June. If you let your certification lapse, then unfortunately you have to complete the full core or the full advanced course again to be able to become back into the Pro Advisor program. And when you think about what that means you lose, you lose your badge, you lose a chance to be on the ProAdvisor Finding Accountant program, and you'll lose any points towards your practices tier as well. So it is really important that you get yourself recertified. Now, I wouldn't be Aaron Patrick of the QuickBooks chat if I wasn't going to give you some tips on how to actually complete the course. So let's put some tips on the table. Tip number one, I really do recommend that you do go ahead and complete the webinar or the self-paced option that was going to be released soon. Both ways of learning is going to give you a really good insight into what to expect on the course itself. The idea of the webinar or the self-paced help was designed to be able to give you an insight into what's changed in QuickBooks. As a bit of a hint, that's what we're actually doing the recertification on. So if it's changed in QuickBooks and we're doing a webinar against it, chances are they're going to be the sort of question that's going to be asked. So do yourself a favor and complete the course because that's going to give you the best possible chance. Remember to complete, remember to sign up to the course itself, head over to that pro advisor training section. And from there you can register either a webinar or soon you'll be able to go for that self paced help as well. And you may recognize the voice on the self paced course. Just saying. Tip number two, the recertification exam is not supposed to be a memory test. It's an open book exam. Therefore, do yourself a favor and make sure that you've got yourself open a copy of QuickBooks. If you don't have a client file around that you can easily go into, then don't forget your sample company. Remember to get to your sample company. You go to your company cog in the top right hand corner of your QB accountant file. You go to your company and you go to sample company just here. That's a company you can play around with your heart's content with and you know you're not going to break anything on your client side. If you did complete the course, you'll also have a handy handout that's going to be able to give you an opportunity to be able to go and use that as well. And I promise you there's some really good bits in that handout that's going to help. So don't be afraid to have these resources open for you when you're completing the recertification exam. My other personal tip to you will be the phrase RT 
TFQ, which stands for read the flipping question. Promise you that most of these questions involved here are questions that are not designed to trip you up in any way whatsoever, but can cause you some issues if you don't read the question properly. Now, what I mean by that is sometimes the question itself is completely obvious if you just read all four of those answers. What I mean by that is sometimes the, the answer is so obvious if you just read all four of those answers. And what I mean by that is sometimes the answer is so obvious if you just read all four of those answers and think about them and you'll be absolutely fine. Remember, RTFQ is your key. And with these tips, I promise you, you'll be absolutely fine. You'll get that registration through and then you'll be able to be recertified for 2021. But if you did need some more support, don't forget the Facebook groups, great resource there. So if you go onto the, some of the Facebook groups or the other community posts, then you'll find a whole lot of people. We're all going to be in the same boat. We're all going to have to get ourselves recertified from May the 3rd. And if you have any other questions about QuickBooks, don't forget there's that help bar in the top right hand corner and the other customer support teams are there as well. Finally, as a personal plug as well, don't forget this channel, great channel. And also one of the things that is actually asked on a lot about QuickBooks is the quarterly re releases. Now we cover that here on the channel and also on our podcast, QuickBooks Labs. So you'll have all the information you need to be able to complete next year recertification if you give us a subscribe. And there you have it. Comment below, let me know, have you been able to complete your recertification? Personally, I think you're going to have a great opportunity. Personally, I think you've absolutely smashed it already. But if not, don't forget RTFQ and don't forget it's open book. So have a copy of QuickBooks available to you to be able to complete your course. Honestly, this is a really good move. Recertification means that only us who are actually involved in QuickBooks, keeping ourselves up to date and willing to take that recertification exam are going to be pro advisors going forward which means that our clients that we're looking after are going to be in the best possible hands. That's what this is all about. As a pro advisor myself, I'll be making sure I'll be researching as soon as the window opens. And as a trainer, a certified trainer for QuickBooks, I'll be more than honored to help as many people as I can to get registered and get recertified as soon as possible. All I need to say is good luck, keep calm, go out there, get yourself recertified and obviously subscribe to this channel. Because this channel is all about making sure that you keep up to date. So for recertification 2022, you're already almost there. Let me know in the comments below how you feel from this recertification. My name has been Aaron Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live in Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.